Hello and welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. Today I'm out with my cousin Jonathan and we got his kids with him too. We're having a good time scouting around the field. And we're gonna make some plantain and jewelweed salve. We've got a big patch of jewelweed right here behind us and we're gonna collect some up and we're gonna get this process started, so stick with us. All right, what we're gonna do is collect up some jewelweed and since it's starting to rain, we're just gonna take the top out of one of the plants. I'm gonna try not to take too much of it, no more than what we need. So whenever you're collecting up wild, edible, or medicinal plants, try not to take more than you need, just enough to get the job done. Here's the second ingredient for our salve. This is narrow leaf plantain. We were hoping to get some broad leaf, but you gotta take what nature gives you. Let's see what the flowers look like. It's a very common plant. Find it most anywhere. There's another specimen right here. This one's a nice healthy one, so we'll probably collect some pieces from this as well. So Jonathan's gonna collect up some of the plantain for us. I'm gonna just get it all the way down, the leaves all the way down to the bottom. And once again, we try to never take more than like one third of the plant material from any given plant. There's about three or four plants here. All growing I'm picking, together. I'm picking some off of each one. So we came around to the front just to get some from a different plant. Be I think so too. All right, so we got to get our fire started so we can extract the uh, medicinal values out of our plant material. And we got Jacob here. He wanted to start the fire for us, so we're going to let him do that. Jacob, when you're ready, we'll let this thing go. There you go. You got it. You got it burning. Jacob. Jacob. Slide back, buddy, so they can see what you did. You did awesome. Good job. All right, so the fire's taking off. Jacob did a good job. What do you think, Jacob? You like starting fires? Hot. <laughs> it's hot. It is hot. It's sweltering hot out here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing our uh, plant material, processing that down. We've got our plantain, and this here is our jewelweed. And with the jewelweed, we definitely wanna get some stems in there, because the stems contain a lot of potent stuff. I'm just gonna dice that stuff up, expose as much surface area as possible, and that'll help us to quickly extract the medicinal qualities of the jewelweed. Probably the fastest way would just be do it all at one time. We're making a fairly small batch of this salve today, but we're gonna make it potent. So we're gonna put a lot of plant material to oil ratio. And our oil is just gonna be some olive oil. And we're gonna simmer that over the fire and that'll help to extract it the uh, qualities out of this jewelweed and out of the plantain as well. When we do that, we don't want to boil it really, at least not heavy. We're just going to kind of simmer it slowly and that'll help to extract our stuff out. We're just going to add that into the bush pot. And we got, like I said, stems and leaves in that. I 
All right, and then we've got our plantain, which we're going to do the exact same way. Should be plenty good. Add that in with the uh, jewel weed. Now we just need to add our oil. It's a little bit of an ugly piece there. We should be good to go. All right, now that we have our plant material all chopped up finely, we're gonna cover it with olive oil. And at the end, we'll mix our olive oil with melted beeswax, and that should create our salve. All right, I've gone ahead and got the bush pot with our plant material over the fire. And you can see I don't have it directly over the fire because we don't want to boil this stuff too hard. We want to heat it up fairly slowly and just kind of simmer it slowly. And sometimes overheating that might kill some of the medicinal properties of the plants. So we're going to just take our time and let this stuff come up to heat uh, fairly slowly. All right, while we've been preparing our salve over here, Jackson's been practicing his fire making skills. He recently crossed over to the Boy Scouts, so he definitely knows his stuff. He's doing a good job and we're glad he's with us today. Say hey, Jackson. Hello. All right, what I've got here is just some 100% natural beeswax. And I've got something from the Dollar Tree, which is just a loaf pan. I'm not gonna put this directly on the fire because the beeswax can burn and I just wanna get it warm and melt down slowly. So I've got some of this stuff that I've kind of chopped up. And Normally, I guess it would be good to measure out your, your, your amounts for the stuff that you're working with, the oil, and measure out the wax. I didn't do that because I think I can eyeball it and get it just about perfect. So we're making a little bit of progress on the wax. It's slowly starting to melt down. All right, so we estimate it to be about five minutes, and all of that beeswax is melted down. Uh, the only thing we're waiting on now is to finish extracting the medicinal qualities out of our jewel weed and our plantain. As soon as that's done, we'll get us all mixed up, get our salve made. Stick with us. All right, while we're waiting for this to all finish up back here, I thought we'd talk for just a minute about the benefits of jewel weed and plantain. And jewel weed, a lot of times, is known as the cure for poison ivy. And, and it does help with poison ivy. I don't think it's an actual cure. But what jewelweed has is an antihistamine property and an anti-inflammatory property to it, which both of those things would help it to treat like contact dermatitis from poison ivy. Uh, so jewelweed is good as an antihistamine, good as an anti-inflammatory, and we've added in the plantain because plantain is known as the master drawing plant. So it's super astringent, and let's say we had a bug bite or something like that, it will help to draw that you know, the poison or venom or anything like that that might be under our skin will help to draw those things out. So this salve should be very effective being antihistamine, anti-inflammatory, and super astringent with drawing properties. Yes, we also have um, referenced the Peterson's Field Guide, and it says in here that um, jewel weed is a great poison ivy rash um, treatment. It also um, can be used to treat bruises, eczema, insect bites, sprains, ringworm, tons of other ailments. This should be a very versatile salve that we're making today. Yep. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull the wax off the fire. We're good. And we've got our oil with our plant mixture in it, and it's well simmered down. So what we're gonna do now, I'm looking at where the wax is on the pan, and my goal is to just try to double that amount by eye with the oil. And this isn't a perfect science. You may find that when this starts to cool off it's too soft, in which case I can add more wax, or most likely it's gonna be a little too hard because I'm gonna go on the conservative side with the oil. All right, so we had a small mishap and I got a little plant material in there, but JP did a good job fishing it out. And um, there's some little specks of like uh, ash and stuff that got in from the fire, but that's just normal when you make stuff like this over a fire. It's gonna be little imperfections and I don't think it'll hurt anything. So what we're gonna do is try to pour this into our tins. This pan's still a little warm. I'm 
just trying to keep that one out. Okay. What we're going to do is let the rest of that cool in this pan, and we can always heat this back up and transfer it into some other tins later. So this will be a tin for Jonathan's pack and a tin for my pack. And we got this stuff on our hands already, and it's amazing. It feels just like lotion on your hands. It feels yep. really good. And I think we've got our wax to oil ratio right because right here on the side of the pan where this stuff is touched, it's already starting to get a little bit firm. But the steel very, it spreads good. It's like it rubs in good. So we'll, wait, we'll let this cool off for just a few minutes and see what it looks like. All right, so I just dipped my finger in our salve, and as soon as I pulled it out, it's already started to glaze over on my finger. But yet it's still very... You can see it's almost like a lotion like a thick lotion so i think the consistency will be perfect all right so we've taken a little time and let this salve set up it's kind of hard to get it to set up today because it's like 100 degrees out here um, but i'll let you see when we first started testing it was still warm and it was kind of mushy right through here but when i rub my finger on it now my finger doesn't go down into the salve but it leaves the residue of it on my fingers. So I think once we get this um, maybe in a cooler temperature like in the house, it'll set up really nice and it'll be good in those little containers that we made for our packs. And uh, you know, worst case scenario in hot weather, if it starts to melt or whatever, you know, it's, it's in that tin at least. So that should, should work out fine. Anyway, uh, we enjoyed this video, making this video, having a chance to spend time with family, getting out here together, getting the kids involved. That made it all worthwhile just for that. So we appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in for this video. And we'll look forward to talking to you with another one as soon as possible. And until then, take care and God bless. God bless. So what do you think about your fire, Jacob? Good. It looks good, doesn't it? All right, Jacob, what do you think about your fire? Good. You did a good job, right? No. We dressed him in orange because he gets lost a lot. <laughs> Corey and the antihistamine and the drawing properties. Blah, 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 blah. Hello and welcome to the Black Cat Bushcraft Channel. Stop smiling. All right, take two.